So, uh, my name is Miroslav, and I will be uh, talking about uh, uh, Zabbix monitoring uh, Jabberbot. Um, I'm software developer uh, at Danube Cloud from Slovakia, and I'm Pythonista, uh, sysadmin, um, and I'm really new to Zabbix, so if I make uh, any uh, obvious um, uh, so wrong statements, please correct me at Q&A or uh, after the talk. And these are my uh, social media uh, handles where you can see what I'm working on and what I'm tweeting about. And uh, yes, so uh, what is chat ops? Um, how many of you are using uh, chat, uh, chat room uh, for your day-to-day -day operations? Okay, so quite, quite a few hands. And how many of you uh, know what ChatOps is? Okay, so not as many. Okay, so this will be just a quick introduction. Uh, it's um, ChatOps was uh, term is term coined by GitHub, uh, and essentially it means using uh, uh, your chat room as a central place uh, where you do all your development, uh, testing, and operations. And uh, in this chat room, the essential member uh, of the room is the chatbot uh, that um, uh, has implemented various uh, commands that uh, the users, uh, which are developers, testers, and operations, uh, query uh, this bot and it responds. So uh, you can use it to uh, test the code deploy the code, uh, operation, use it to monitor or respond to alerts. And essentially, whatever, uh, whatever you program or teach your chatbot to do, it will do it. Uh, as I say in the bottom, I didn't find the Wikipedia page, so uh, any definition is good of the chat ops for now. So uh, you can impl uh, implement your own uh, definition. But now, wh why, why use uh, chat ops? Uh, it's important for communication between the teams and essentially this way, uh, everybody uh, that's a stakeholder of your product uh, has uh, real-time insight into what's happening with the product, whether it's uh, deploying new code or test, if tests are failing or if there are any problems in production. Uh, and uh, second point is the knowledge sharing, and it's um, uh, knowledge sharing between the teams uh, and also between uh, junior and more senior members uh, of your teams, uh, of your team where uh, juniors can see how, how senior member respond to uh, various situations that um, emerge during a product life, a life cycle. Uh, the, uh, this also alerts ownership, and what I mean by alert uh, ownership is um, you can always see who, uh, if alert uh, comes, uh, you can see who uh, responded to it or who was the first responder who is responsible for solving uh, this alert. And uh, as last uh, point, the timestamp history, uh, which enables you to do uh, uh, great uh, to do the post mortem uh, on your incidents or development and see how to uh, make your uh, development uh, operations better. Uh, Ludolf, uh, our chatbot uh, is called Ludolf and it's written completely in Python. Uh, you can easily uh, write your own uh, commands via, uh, via plugins, uh, and it has integration with Zabbix. Uh, it's open sourced uh, and really easy to install using Python SPIP, or we're working on getting the RPM uh, into the CentOS, uh, CentOS and Fedora. Uh, this, this is the project uh, web page uh, where you can submit or uh, take a look at the issues or uh, clone it directly from this uh, uh, repository. So uh, now let's see if, if the demo uh, will work. So as I mentioned, you would have uh, a room in which uh, all the developers are, and uh, your chatbot, which you should personalize and 
R is called uh, Dunaiko, and uh, you would say, for example, hi, and he would respond, hello, uh, and for example, uh, yeah. Um, so let, let's see some help. Um, as you can see, there are many, many commands uh, that, that it supports in various plugins. And uh, the, the thing that it responded, it's uh, you can train it with uh, chatbot train command. Uh, the, the, uh, you should allow, allow only responsible people doing this because most of the people would uh, teach it profanities. <laughs> Uh, so I, I'm not really comfortable with uh, talking uh, in uh, some conversational stuff with it because I don't know, it's a production, so maybe people put uh, a lot of things in it. But uh, yeah, another plugins are the uh, version control plugins. These plugins can uh, inform you uh, when a new uh, branch is being uh, created, updated, if the master branch in your GitHub, GitLab, uh, repositories uh, is being worked on and this can be used by testers to uh, issue uh, testing. Uh, another fun command is weather. So if you're all day uh, inside, uh, inside your data center, you can just query like what's the temperature or is it raining or not. Uh, but uh, w what are we most interested are the uh, Zabbix uh, commands. Uh, so uh, let's say that you, you want to work um, uh, on your servers uh, and you want to put them in the maintenance mode in Zabbix. For this, you would use uh, the outage command. Um, And uh, this command enables you to uh, put the uh, host or whole host group uh, into a maintenance mode for a specific uh, duration of time. So uh, for example, if I wanted to work on the Python SK infrastructure uh, and um, for, let's say I will put seven minutes uh, uh, I would uh, now have created uh, the maintenance, uh, maintenance for these uh, hosts. And as you can see, uh, there's a, a maintenance uh, period set in Zabbix. And uh, why I put it for seven minutes so we can see it's programmed to inform you five minutes before uh, uh, expiration of this maintenance. Uh, it's uh, programmed to inform that uh, the maintenance is ending and if you should prolong it or uh, delete it. So uh, another As we, as we so, and, and you can use also a private chat. Uh, as you can see, the, uh, there's a problem or alert came, came in that uh, something is wrong. Uh, and uh, normally, uh, when, when you're on duty uh, or someone else is on duty, this would be like this for uh, 10 minutes and then would, uh, the SMS would be sent. But if somebody was, uh, was to acknowledge um, this, uh, we, can, we can see if, uh, as you can see, nobody acknowledged the disaster. So you would say, uh, or I should probably show you the help for acknowledge command first. And uh, yeah, so you would, uh, put the event ID and then write uh, some, some note like what's, uh, what's happening. And I would say since I will, uh, I will look into it uh, so the SMS wouldn't be sent either to me or, or someone, someone who's on duty uh, because I'm going, to, I'm going to solve this, uh, solve this issue. 
And now when we looked at the uh, alerts, uh, you can see that uh, the problem was acknowledged and you can see the dates uh, when, when, this was, uh, when this was done. Um, also, uh, you can uh, very quickly go into particular um, hosts by listing them and yeah, always something breaks in the demo. So, so this should be a normal link, but you would just click and you would get the latest data from the particular host that you are uh, that you're interested uh, in seeing. And uh, uh, also uh, the acknowledge command, uh, acknowledge command uh, enables you uh, to uh, act all, uh, all events, uh, that, that all alerts that were uh, reported because for example, something really bad goes down uh, in your data center and there are a lot of hosts uh, uh, reporting incidents, you would just do uh, acknowledge all uh, with a note uh, what's happening. And um, so we didn't, uh, there were a lot of things going on, so probably I missed the the outage uh, report, but um, it's still there. And once you're uh, done uh, working on your servers, you will just use the delete and uh, delete the maintenance, uh, and maintenance, and you will see it would be removed from the maintenance period. And uh, since I'm only about two minutes. Um, one of the one of the non uh, non Zabbix uh, com Zabbix commands that I would like to just uh, say that it's uh, good. It's a remind command, and uh, this command you can use it to remind yourself um, about something that you should be uh, that you should do. Uh, Later on, and you would get a private uh, private message from your chatbot, uh, reminding you to do a particular uh, thing, and uh, that would be probably everything. And you can. So you can train it to do anything. So that's my presentation. Okay. Any questions? Any questions on Slido, please? Uh, yes, we do have some questions. Uh, three questions. And uh, the first one you are running Zabbix 308. Is the chatbot compatible with Zabbix 3.4? Uh, we, we haven't tried it, but uh, essentially what this uh, Zabbix uses is, uh, is the uh, Zabbix AP library uh, written in Python. And as far as I know, the Zabbix haven't changed that much and uh, we really, uh, the chatbot supports only a subset of all the uh, Zabbix capabilities, so I, I think we should, uh, it should be good with uh, 3.4, but uh, uh, if, if your use case requires it, you can either test it or uh, file an issue on GitHub and we will get back to you when we test it. Okay, thank you. And is there any way how to authenticate users uh, before they are starting to talk with the chatbot? Uh, uh, essentially, you wouldn't like uh, to expose this chatbot uh, t through through whole uh, internet, but uh, if you authenticate your users to use um, uh, to use a Jabber protocol, 
then uh, that's the way how, how you authenticate users. And uh, the, uh, the chatbot itself, uh, as it's now programmed, uh, doesn't support some uh, intrusive uh, or commands that would break, uh, break your system. Uh, and it should stay like that, but if your, uh, if your use case requires like some super user privileges, then you should definitely uh, uh, consider, uh, consider this uh, when doing um, the chatbot. Thank you. Uh, I have a small question from my side. Okay. Is there any possibility to log which user did what from the chatbot? Uh, what uh, well the um, what user did what uh, is done by uh, you see it in the room which has logs but also uh, the the chatbot itself uh, when you chat with it in a private room also has a log stored on the server so you can see who who did what okay if thank you yeah okay uh, one question from the audience from the back row please. So, yeah, uh, I'm the original, one of the two original authors of Ludolf. Just to add uh, uh, to the question, some side note. Uh, yeah, there is authentication in the configuration file of Ludolf. You have two kinds of users, uh, either admin users or uh, normal users, and some commands can be only run only by admin users. And yeah, that's what I wanted to add, just on this. Okay, there's a question. Uh, yes, one question from Vladimir Ologov. Uh, oh. yeah. It's just a matter of the cl clarification. Am I understand correctly when the user is open session with the chatbot and providing the credential, the chatbot open connections with the Zybex with that user credential? Is that a true statement? Uh, no, the, the chatbot has its, uh, its credential and it queries the API. Mm -hmm. So it's done, uh, everything is done through, through the API. So essentially from the Zabbix standpoint, uh, the chatbot is the user. Yes. And how then you separate the privileges, how you not show the users what they, like user B, if he not supposed to see something like something in the Zabbix, how you separate the privileges then? Uh, we, we don't. So. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> so, one more last question from the audience. Hi. Hi. Uh, the, it really just trying to find out whether you had any plans to implement something on Slack or HipChat as well. Uh, we uh, we use the uh, Jabber, uh, and but uh, we we didn't see the need for for it for now. But uh, if, if uh, someone, someone would like to uh, either help us or implement it, uh, we can look into it. But as I said, we, uh, we, we don't trust Slack that much. We like to have the data on our server, servers. So, but yeah, uh, it, it can be done. But it supports, uh, uh, I don't know uh, if uh, Slack supports X, uh, XMPP protocol, but if it does, then uh, it can be uh, connected to Slack. Okay. Because that's the protocol that uh, Bot is using right now. Sure, and on the, the point about permissions, that was something that, that crossed my mind as well. Is there a way to, it, it seems fairly straightforward to do, to have different chat rooms have different um, chat bots effectively and control permissions basically like by a group? Yeah, you, you can have mul multiple, uh, multiple chat bots uh, running uh, different privilege, uh, privileges. privileges. Uh, so you yeah, that, some, that's uh, admin ops teams on an admin ops chat that would be able to do different things to... Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. You, you can have multiple uh, like chat bots, is that a problem? So uh, thank you very much for your questions. Thank you, Miroslav. Thank you.